Hi, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to make this very beautiful headband. It's very easy to make. The tutorial today is uh, for absolute beginners. I will go forward very slowly and show you every step of the way. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below and I will answer. But let's make this beautiful headband. You'll need some materials for this headband. I use this acrylic yarn from Hobby. It's a medium weight 4. A crochet hook size 6 millimeters. You'll need some scissors and a tapestry needle. But grab your hook and let's get started. For this headband we start by making a slip knot. Make a loop, yarn behind the loop, and grab the yarn from the middle and pull. Pull a little but not too much, you have to be able to slide it on your needle. And then we start our foundation chain. So we yarn over and pull through. That's a chain. We yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. I will be making 14 in total. If you want a wider hair headband, you can do more or you can do less. Just make as many as you want. That's 14. Now we start working the other way. So I will be making a single crochet and we will be working in the second stitch from the hook. So this one on your hook doesn't count. And this is our first stitch and this is the second. So for a single crochet, you insert the needle in the stitch we grab the yarn and pull through. We yarn over, pull through two. That's a single crochet. We do the same in this next stitch. We insert the needle. So we have two loops. Grab the yarn and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through two. Same in this next stitch. Insert the needle. Grab the yarn. Pull through one. Yarn over. Pull through two. Continue making single crochet all the way across. You will end up having 13 because we skipped the first one and it should be looking like this. Just one single crochet in every stitch. Until you're all the way across. And now we only got one to go. So this last knot, that's our slip knot from where we started. So this is our last stitch. We insert the needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. That's the first row of single crochet. When we turn the work, we do a slip stitch so we yarn over and pull through. We turn the work and start working the other way. So again, we make single crochet. So we begin in this second stitch. This one doesn't count. This is the first and this is the second. So we insert the needle in this little gap. 
So under both strands, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And this next one, we insert the needle in this little gap, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Again, in this next one, insert the needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's how it should look. And we got a straight edge. So all the way across, we do single crochet in every stitch. If you're a beginner, I recommend that you count your stitches each time you make it to the end, so you don't miss any. If you start by chaining 14 like I did, you should be you should be having 13 stitches. And we chain one every time we turn, but we also skip one when we start, so it'll add up. And this is our last stitch. This one, this one doesn't count, only the V. So we insert the needle in this last one, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And again, we yarn over, pull through, make a slip stitch, and turn. Continue making single crochet. Start in the second stitch, in the beginning of every row. Just single crochet until it reaches around your head. And then I will show you how we do the finishing part. Now I'm satisfied with my length and I'm done with the crocheting part of this headband. So now we're sewing them together and make the X that makes it special. So we fold it and make the ends meet. Then you take your yarn and your tapestry needle and you thread it. like this. Then you take the ends, just adjust this for you guys, like this. Then you take the ends and do like this and the other one the same. So they face each other. Then you slide it in between like this. Not all the way like this, but only halfway through, halfway to the middle. I will just do it and show you. So about this, it's like this. So now you have these gaps on the sides. And this part in the middle where they overlap. And this middle part is where we are sewing together. So you grab your needle and push it through all four layers. And again, through all four. And we just continue. Make sure you grab all four layers so you don't miss any. It will not be the right effect. I will just do once more on the way back. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> And this, and we're almost done. 
just make sure you get it all the way to the edge of these in between so it will be a very sharp X and I will just grab this last loop right here and then I'm done with this part so now we have like a little bow but now we take these and join them just make it a little easier so you just join these gaps connect them and then you sew those together so you don't have any gaps left for the wind and rain like this and you just sew it together all the way across. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm making a new tutorial every week, at least. Right now I'm doing more. But if you like the video, please press thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, just ask them in the comments below. I will make sure to answer as fast as I can but now we're almost done with this actually really beautiful headband in a very beautiful color I like this one it's so wintry but yep yeah, I'm just making sure it won't get loose even through the washing machine like this go ahead, go ahead and grab your scissors and snip your yarn when you're satisfied so now I will adjust this again we will turn our headband and you see it has gotten this nice looking X and it's so beautiful so you see it's a very very easy and very beautiful headband and i'm sure i will be seeing you in another tutorial soon bye